Thanks for having me. Um, my name is Rich Simmons. I am here all the way from London to talk to you about the project that I run called Art as the Cure. But what I really want to tell you is that um, art saved my life. Um, when I was a teenager, I was struggling with depression, mental health, social anxiety. I was diagnosed on the autism spectrum, and I didn't know what to do with that. I um, tried turning to self-harm. I struggled in school. I ended up failing art because of that. I failed graphic design. Um, and it was because I turned back to painting outside of the education system that I found something different. When I didn't have to justify my work, I found that it helped. It got it out of my system in this healthy way. Um, but I realized I wasn't alone. One in four people struggle with mental health. Almost 50% of Gen Z people struggle uh, with uh, stress and anxiety, which is insane. Because I found a cure through art and because I found a way to deal with it, I wanted to share that story with other people. If I could do that with art and if I could do that with creativity, maybe it was my responsibility to help other people in the world. So I set something up called Art as the Cure. And I went to schools and I gave talks and I ran workshops uh, all over the world. Um, I allowed my art to take over my life and try to inspire other people to find that creative release themselves. Um, so I've gone all over the world running workshops, teaching kids about mental health, about creativity, trying to plant a seed. Maybe they haven't gone through problems yet, but when they do, if they know that art can be a cure, if they know that creativity can help them, then they've already had that knowledge in their minds. So they won't turn to self-harm, they won't turn to drugs or alcohol or anything like that. They'll turn to creativity. The three key words I've learned along this journey that kind of sum everything up over the last 15 years are inspiration, community, and movement. How can I inspire people all over the world to find a cure through art, to use creativity to get negative things out of their system in a healthy way? And if you can inspire people to do that, they become part of a community because those people will then want to inspire others. They will then want to share this information and help other people with it. And once you have an entire community of people sharing this, trying to inspire other people, you have a movement. And a movement is an incredibly hard thing to stop. And that's what I've been doing for the last 15 years, is going around the world, planting these seeds, trying to create a movement. What I also do is physical art. So I've been going around painting. I've had over 30 shows in 18 cities on three continents in the last decade. Um, that's one of my pieces. I don't know if you can see. That's me, just there, just for scale. And I've taken everything that I've learned from the physical artwork, from trying to inspire people along that way. While I was in this town, I got to go and talk to schools uh, and promote the art as the cure message. But I've taken everything I learned from my physical art and everything I learned from these three key words with art as the cure, inspiration, community, and movement, and I turned to NFTs. And I turned my artwork into a, into a collection called Reflections, which I launched last February, and it generated $2 million in the first month. But what I did differently was I didn't put the community in, in my name. I put it in the Art as the Cure name, and I put the emphasis on mental health. And I donated um, thousands and thousands of dollars to mental health organizations. I've been going into schools for free. I don't charge schools because I don't think it's my right to be able to charge to inspire kids. Um, and I also gave away $100,000 worth of artwork to people in my community to give back, to try and pass this on. Um, and I've learned that we have a responsibility. And this is really the big thing of why I'm here. I have a responsibility as an artist to try and inspire people. I have a responsibility as a survivor of mental health. I have a responsibility of someone that has been through things and found a cure, found a creative release that saved my life. And I see so many people in this space not taking their responsibility seriously. They release these big projects and they make millions of dollars and they're not giving back to their communities in the way that will actually benefit future generations, that will actually help inspire people to overcome things in the future. And I've kind of taken this responsibility very seriously. I mean, people invest in the artist as much as the artwork. 
that's a big thing that I've learned from the physical side of things. If I went around punching people in the face, then people don't want my art in their homes because they don't want that bad energy. But if you find out the artist goes to schools and gives talks and runs workshops and tries to help kids and inspire people, you want that energy in your home. So I've tried to take all of that that I've learned and put that into my NFT project, into my community. And over the last year, it's grown to over 20,000 people on multiple platforms. We've released multiple collections. There's more to come. I now have a team in London helping me to grow things. We'll be going into more schools, running more workshops. And any time I can make more money from selling paintings, from selling NFTs, well, that allows me to travel to a school. That allows me to buy art materials. That allows me to give them a platform to come in and learn about creativity and the power of art and how it can change people's lives. Because it changed my life. It saved my life. I wouldn't be here without art. And I don't think people in this entire building would be here without the art. Because art is what has brought NFTs together. We love the art. But as creators, as artists, we have that responsibility. That's me in a gallery. Feel free to scan the QR code to learn about Art as the Cure. All my socials are on that link to NFTs, to Art as the Cure, and everything else. Um, my main thing here is if one person can go away and be inspired to do something in their community, to pass on this information, to plant that seed that, hey, you're struggling. Have you tried painting? Have you tried music? Have you tried skateboarding? Have you tried anything creative to get out of your system instead of turning to self-harm, instead of turning to drugs or alcohol or suicide? Art can save people's lives all over the world. And uh, I am proof and testament of that. Thank you for letting me share my story with you. Please follow Art as the Cure. Please pass this on. And uh, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much.